Hello and welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide YouTube channel. Mohammed Niaz with you. Today we're gonna see how to configure a receive connector for Exchange Server 2019. In the last couple of videos you saw how to install Exchange Server 2019 and how to configure a send connector to send an email from your organization. The purpose of a receive connector is to receive email from outside your organization and also to receive email internally if you have multiple mailbox servers for database availability group and high availability. The receive connector configuration is very simple. You can simply configure it. But understanding the architecture and mail flow is very important when you configure a receive connector. Then you know exactly what you are doing. Those who worked with the previous Exchange Server versions like 2010 and 13, there were multiple roles. Either you install it in one server or in separate servers. But when it comes to 2016 and 2019, all this clubbed into one role called mailbox server role. So inside the mailbox server role, there are three separate roles or services called front end transport service and transport service and mailbox transport service, which are responsible for mail flow. Let's go to one by one. First front end transport service is responsible to receive email from outside your organization. So this communicate with your secure email gateway or outside internet and it receive the email. It is it work like a proxy. It doesn't do any content inspection or categorization. Once it get the email, it just give it to the transport service. Once transport service receive an email from front end transport service, then the transport service will do the categorization, content inspection and message queue and all. Then it transfer those emails to mailbox transport service. Then the mailbox transport service is responsible for retrieving or pushing this message to the database. So those are the three services involved in email transfer or email flow in an exchange server. So now let us see how to uh, configure a receive connector. So to configure a receive connector, you need to decide how you want to receive emails, right? You can directly receive email from internet through exchange server. That is the first option. The second option you can use uh, Edge Transport Service, it's a Microsoft product or you can use uh, Cisco Iron Port or Symantec Secure Email Gateway like third party Secure Email Gateway products. So based upon that the configurations will change. So let's go one by one and I will explain to you the purpose of other receive connector with the architecture. So in the first part of the demo we're gonna see how to create a receive connector to receive an email from internet directly to Exchange Server. For that go to mail flow then select receive connector there are five receive connectors already available in your exchange server the default front end is a front end receive connector is already configured by exchange to receive email from outside when you open it you can see from the scope it gives the entire ip range so this can so this can receive email from outside your organization so the only step left to receive email from outside is you can configure in your firewall port 25 NAT with the public IP to this exchange server. Then it will be ready to receive email from outside. The second option you can create a secure receive connector to receive an email from edge transport device or semantic secure email gateway. That means you're going to relay a device inside your network. So let us see how to do that. So in this topology, you receive email through Symantec Secure Email Gateway or Cisco Iron Port, whatever the edge device you have, then this device is going to forward those emails to your exchange server. So for that, you can click Add, then Custom, give a meaningful name, then put Front End because this is going to be Front End role. Keep this selection as it is, then click Next. Here instead of selecting the entire range, you can remove this and you can add the specific IP address of your uh, secure email gateway. For example, my Symantec secure gateway address is 192.168.1.110, then click save. So this means the receive connector you are configured is just to receive emails only from that secure email gateway. So this will help you to secure your exchange server. So the last two configurations that we have just watched is about uh, receiving emails from outside the organizations. But there are some cases your scanner or printer or applications that use your exchange server to send email. 
For that, you need to create a relay and sometimes you need to create an anonymous relay for the scanners and printers to send email from your uh, exchange server. So let us see how to do this. You can create a new receive connector and let's call it as a relay. Then select front end transport and custom type. Then click next. Here for the network adapter bindings, uh, if you have multiple adapters in your server, uh, for external and internal connections then you can choose specifically the IP address of the internal network because the purpose of this is to relay with the scanners and printers right so based upon your organization network you can do that then click next here I'm gonna select a remote network for example my printer IP is or the network of my printer is like this I have different options here I can just add the IP address or I can relay an entire network it's always better to give the specific IP address, but if you have a lot of equipments, a lot of scanners, printers and all, then you can give in a specific range of IP address. Then click save, then finish. So we have finished with the three type of configurations, uh, configured uh, exchange server to receive email from outside. And also we configured exchange server to receive email from a third party device or an edge transport server. And also we saw how to configure your exchange server receive connector to receive or to work with applications or scanners or printers to relay your exchange server. So following are the common configurations that you need to do in an exchange server. If that is all, then what are the purpose of other receive connectors? Let's go back to the architecture of uh, exchange uh, server mail flow. The receive connector that we have configured is to receive email from external mail servers in front end transport service. But when you look at the architecture, you can see the other services are also receiving email from front end transport service and also from other mailbox service if you have multiple mailbox servers for high availability. And also mailbox transport service also receiving email from transport services. So the other receive connectors that you saw in the exchange server admin panel is for mailbox transport service and transport services. You don't need to do any configurations here. These are ready to work with the multiple mailbox servers or a standalone exchange servers. It is always recommended to keep those connectors are untouched. You can work on a new connector or default front end connector. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe my YouTube channel.